Hi, my name is Karen and in this video, I'll show you how to edit a Zoom presentation. The best part, you don't need any prior video editing skills or experience. Here's what we'll cover in this video. Why you should edit your Zoom recordings. How to record meetings in Zoom and where to find your recordings. How to edit a Zoom meeting video like a pro, best practices to make the most out of your Zoom recordings, and the easiest way to edit a Zoom video for free. So let's dive in. Why edit your Zoom recordings? Of course, nothing is stopping you from recording and sharing your entire meeting as it is, but there are two problems with this approach. First, your video will be a string of awkward pauses, unexpected silences, and irrelevant chit chat. In fact, there's a high chance that it will never be watched again. All you will do is collect dust in a folder somewhere or in your cloud storage. People are busier than ever and no one has the time to go through lengthy Zoom recordings. So, if you want to get your message across, the only way to ensure this is to edit a Zoom video. Before you share the video with prospects and co-workers, customize it and trim the useless parts so you can easily share the key moments from the meeting. Second, if you don't trim the Zoom recording, its potential to engage people in different online and offline platforms is limited. On the other hand, cutting it into snackable clips will help expand its reach. For example, splitting your webinar into separate tips can give you a lot of content to share on social media and gain more followers. Isolating important material can help you present your ideas professionally in offline events and town hall meetings. Where to find your recordings in Zoom? If you don't know how to record your Zoom calls or where to find your recordings, let's do a quick recap. To record a Zoom call, just start a meeting as a host and click the circular red button. Once you do, the recording will begin. When the meeting ends, Zoom will take some time to process the recording and automatically make it available to you for download. It will also send you an email notification to access your recording. Alternatively, you can also find all your Zoom recordings on the desktop client. So go to Meetings and then Record It. You'll be presented with all the previous meetings you recorded and saved locally and on the cloud. From there, just select the meeting you want to access. How to edit a Zoom meeting recording like a pro. Now that you know how to access your Zoom recordings, let's get to the fun part, editing with PictoStory. PictoStory is an easy and powerful video editor that lets you edit your videos just like you would edit text in Google Doc. It lets you record, brand, transcribe, isolate, annotate, and share the highlights of your virtual meetings as short video clips. Zoom typically records meetings in MP4 or M4A formats, and both of these are easy to edit in PictoStory. Now, before we launch PictoStory, Make sure that you're using the latest version of Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. Well, you can use other browsers such as Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, Safari, and previous versions of Firefox. These browsers may still work on occasion, but they won't give you the best editing experience. If you're not sure about your browser version, you can also use the browser update tool to see if you have the current version. So, with the prerequisites out of the way, it's time to trim your Zoom videos. Step 1. Launch Picture Story. Your first step is to head over to Picture Story and click Sign Up. Once you do, you'll see an option to use your email or Google credentials to create an account. Simply complete the sign up process to reach your Picture Story dashboard. Step 2. Upload Zoom recording to Picture Story. You can import your Zoom recordings directly into Picture Story, but to be able to do so, make sure that you have a premium Zoom account. That's because Cloud recordings are available only on Zoom's paid plans. Log into your Picture Story dashboard and click Import from Zoom. From there, log into your Zoom account and follow the instructions to authorize Picture Story to fetch your Zoom recordings. Next, click Import from Zoom once again and select the recording you want to edit. Your videos will now be imported and will be ready to edit with Picture Story. Step 3 Edit Zoom video in Picture Story. Once your video has been imported, you'll see that Picture Story has automatically created its transcript using machine intelligence without you having to lift a finger. If some parts of the transcript aren't accurate, don't worry. The editing process is as simple as editing any text document. Simply select the parts you want to remove or edit, or just click anywhere you want to add new information. Then, type in to make your changes. 
Similarly, it is a breeze to delete all of the parts that are not adding any value to your video. Just click and drag across the transcript lines to select the portion you want to get rid of. Then click remove. Easy, right? Well done! If you just want to do some basic trimming and editing, that's all you need to know. You can stop right here and start editing a zoom printing. And for any videos you edit using Pictostory, you can log into your dashboard at any time to access full recordings, video highlights, and transcripts. However, if you have enjoyed using Pictostory so far, we bet you want to do more than just trim zoom videos. And even in that case, Pictostory doesn't disappoint. Let's take a look at some best practices. Zoom video editing best practices. Best practice one, add captions to improve accessibility. People working from an office or a public place often watch videos on silent, and there are also those who are hard of hearing. So, your video should be accessible to all types of audiences. Using Pictostory, you can easily add captions or subtitles and explain the content of your video. When editing a Zoom recording with Pictostory, each transcript line indicates the caption that viewers will see when playing the video. If you want to move a part of the line to a new position, just left-click at the start of the transcript, then press Enter or Backspace key, depending on whether you want to remove it below or above the current position. Best practice two, customize brand elements. Branding is an important part of giving a professional and memorable look and feel to your Zoom recording. That means your video should be aligned with your brand guidelines. Luckily, Pictostory lets you customize many aspects of your Zoom video to reinforce your brand. These include video forms, color palette, and much more. To customize your video background, for example, just click the video preview on the right. You'll see a menu bar appear at the top of your video along with a color picker to change your video's background color. Once you've picked a color, click OK and you're all set. Editing the video title is just as simple. Click on the title text box and type or delete text as you normally would. When you're editing the text, you'll also see a formatting panel appear at the top. You can use the options in this panel to change the font family, size, styling, color, and so on. Best practice three, add your brand logo. We already discussed how important branding is and your brand identity isn't complete without a logo. To add your brand logo to the video, you'll need the Pictostory paid flag. Once you become a paid subscriber, click projects to locate your video and navigate to the settings above the video preview. Click upload image and select the logo you want to upload. Now all you need to do is to reposition the image by dragging it through your mouse. You're all done. Best practice four, reposition elements for better viewing. Another great feature you get with Pictostory is to drag the elements in your video and position them as per your preferences. Whether it's the title, a caption, or the video itself, you can click on any element you want to view. You'll see a blue rectangle appear around the element. But that's your cue to start dragging it with your mouse to another location. Best practice 5. Share edited Zoom recordings on social media. Pictostory doesn't just let you edit a Zoom video instantly, but also share it on social media to engage your followers. Once you have created a video clip, just go to the Clips panel in your Pictostory dashboard and locate your clip. Click the three dotted lines at the bottom of the clip and then select Share. From there, you can select a social media channel or copy the link to share by URL. Moreover, you can also change your video's aspect ratio to what's best suited for your target social media platform. For example, 69 for LinkedIn or YouTube, 916 for Instagram Stories or TikTok, 1 to 1 for Instagram posts, 4x5 for Facebook or Twitter. Can you edit a Zoom recording for free in Pictostory? Yes. Pictostory allows you to upload up to 30 minutes of video every month for free editing. Your video will have watermarks, but that's a small price to pay for the substantial value you get. Just sign up for a free account and start editing. Once you have exhausted your 30 minute limit or you want to remove watermarks, you can always upgrade to one of the Pictostory's paid plans. There you go, by now you have all the tools and tricks you need to trim a Zoom recording without learning complicated software. As you can see, Pictostory makes the whole process really easy. In a few minutes of editing, you get highly presentable and engaging videos to wow your audience. 
So no more excuses. Start editing a Zoom meeting recording today and make sure to add caption to for improved accessibility. With Picto Story, you know it's going to be a breeze. If you found the tip shared in this video valuable, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Picto Story's YouTube channel. Good luck with your next Zoom recording and until next time. Thank you.